Uncle Sam, FM here. This is episode 22 of my American football series. I am in the final group stage match against South Africa in the FIFA Under-20 World Cup, and I am in kind of a must-get-a-result situation. Um, even though I'm in Group A, for whatever reason, our two matches um, for our group are the last two of the group stage. And if you look around... <clears throat> um, the so the top two teams from each group advance, but it also takes the top four third place teams. So I'm looking around and I'm pretty much through as Panama and Australia um are out almost assuredly. I'm right now even even if I lost, I'm I'm one of the four teams with with three points. Um, with the one of the of the fourth of the third place finishers, which would be enough to get me through. So I'm probably through. Um, well, I'm almost assuredly through. Um, but I, I want to get a result to kind of help um, with the seeding. Uh, I want to avoid uh, playing one of the top teams. Like you look around and Spain, dominant. They, they won all three of their group matches with 10 goals. I, I'm not... I don't know what the uh, pairings are for the second round, but I, I want to avoid Spain. I want to avoid England, um, which means I, I probably gonna need, I'm going to need a result to stay out of that group of third place teams. And um, if I get a win against South Africa, and then I, that will probably be enough to get me into that top two. Uh, if France beats Brazil then our group will have three teams with six points. So it'll come down to goal differential. But um, I, you know, I, I probably, even with that situation, if I win, I'm going to get enough goals to be one of the top two. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever played under 20s with the youth before. But it, these guys don't recover quick enough from matches. I don't even, I don't really understand it. Like Christoph Bach... Uh, you look at him, he's got a 78% uh, condition, and but he's 100%, you know, sharp. Like he's, he's, he's fully, he's, he's fully fit, he, but he just still, all the, he barely recovered at all from the last match. So that part of this is frustrating. I, I, I've never, it, it makes rotating the guys really difficult. It makes it absolutely, you have to rotate. Um, but it's still, it's, it's maddening to try and um, keep your guys fresh. So I'm not confident. I, I, I can't see, unfortunately, I get, you don't really have scouting for the under 20s. So I, I, I don't know how South Africa is going to come in. Hopefully they've got sort of a, a similar situation as us. But um, yeah, we're not fully fit whatsoever coming in. But we'll go ahead and play this thing and see what happens. Uh, Omidji. He's going to take the armband today. Um, he is a very exciting player if he, he if he could be better a better finisher up front, but um I'm hoping that against South Africa he'll be good enough to get the job done. Um which I looked at South Africa, they're not terrible. Like they they they're under 20s. Um, it's not going to be a, we're not going to run them off the field. Let's put it that way. And well, into the box. Oh, I, th I thought they just, <laughs> I thought we just saw an own goal where the keeper just watched the ball dribble past him, but it was, there was an offside. That would have been quite a fascinating way to get the first goal. All right. Arrange that. <clears throat> Ooh, good save by Mohamed Salim. I he is not my regular starting goalkeeper, but I wanted to give him a run out. Alex free kick goes wide. Yeah, Heinz Ike with the throw in to Castellanos. Castellanos is a really good player. <clears throat> Fredo to Hallett. 
Back to Heinz Ike. <clears throat> Oh, nice ball to edge. Let's cross into Omidji. It's headed into the box. Omidji. Latif Omidji. Let's go with that. <laughs> I think he's a dual national. Oh, header just wide. Right now, our chances are kind of coming from set pieces. Omidji with the ball shot is blocked uh, that was another free kick which is blocked and he gets a corner day into the box but kippy can't get it on target a lot of short highlights Oh, that Dooley was a little volley there on that free kick, but the keeper makes the save and we win the corner. Mm, header off target on the corner. Had a few chances. We need to put one away. Let's check out the other match, see if anything's happened. Oh, Brazil has scored. That's good for us. If Brazil wins and we win, believe it if this holds, we finish second. I mean, I'd like to win the group, I guess, but for France to help us win the group, they probably would have to win by a couple of goals. So, really, you know, it's the group stage. When you're in, the, and I really, this is the group of death that we're in in the World Cup. It's survive in advance. Just get to the second round. And then, you know, anything can happen. Oh, France has equalized, apparently. It's 1 1 now. Um, okay, so halftime, nothing. We've had some chances. Most of them have come off of uh, set pieces, so we'd like to create a little more in the run of play. Afraid it was a hopeful ball there, but we keep possession. Ooh, nice ball there! Yes, there it is, Omidiji! Uses his pace to run onto a nice through ball. Watch this from uh, from Castellanos. Nice, nice. All right, so that gives us the lead. That's a big goal right there. He is on side, but my right wing is off. But hey, we'll take it. Kippy, I think, was my, was the right winger who was offside. Did she head it down to Heinz Eich? And here we go. It, it does look like South... I didn't notice this before, but it does look like South Africa is dealing with the same fitness issues that we are. And I knew our, 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 Savas, our Savas was offside. I need to get used to these names, because some of these guys are definitely national team players. Omadiji is one, and Savas is, is another. Dyke throws it in. South Africa is in an interesting position. If they win, if they beat us, they're through also. Like, they're not out of the tournament. And if they beat us, they could drop us all the way down to last. And then obviously we would be out. <clears throat> Medici. And we win the corner. Let's get a ki let's, let's kill this match. Let's get a second goal, guys. Savas to Omidiji, who has the ball dispossessed. Savas cross in! Header by Kippy to the goalkeeper. And it is still 1-0. I'm not going to make a sub yet. I'm going to hang on to my sub for now. Okay. Mm, header into, into the arms of... Gumidi, Gumide. I really, I really need to get better. Oh, this is bad. Oh, saved over the bar. Might want to drop things off a little bit here. Let me clear that out. Okay, let me think. Let me think. How is my six? I'm gonna leave an Omidishi. 
and uh, part of it, I need part of choosing my sub is is figuring out who's the most fit that's on the bench. Gosling does give us a little more a little more fitness. All right, so let's let's bring him on. And I confirm talk. That wasn't gonna change. Okay. Oh my goodness. This could be bad. Okay, offside. All right. Another sub. Uh, yeah, let's bring in Ningala. So fresh legs up front. I have a lot of pace up front with with this team, which is good. A situation like this, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. All right, let's. Yeah, I'm gonna drop Kippy to the ten. That's not a great situation there, but. At this point, I'm trying to preserve the win. Got to stop giving them free kicks out here, guys. This is... And now we're just... We're all disheveled. Hmm, that led to a chance. Come on. Let's get organized. Edge with a free kick today. To Alfredo. Let's go cautious. Back it off a little bit. Long ball. Ooh, and <laughs> then Gala on a counter. That'll that'll kill this match again. Our our team pace up front was the difference here. So Alfredo launches a long ball, hopeful, but then Gala fights and gets and collects it and slots it home. 2-0, we are certainly through. That's not what we we're looking for. Where's the here? Duh. Uh, France and Brazil, it's still draw it's still 2-2. Let's look at the table. Well, um, so if we got another goal, we would we would even I mean, goal difference if I'm looking here. So if France wins, well, France would win the group. And I'm not going to worry about it. We'll see what happens. Oh, we have a penalty. Possible third, Gosling. And he puts it right off the keeper. Mm. That would have helped our goal difference situation, but... It's a no-no. Alright, one, one good... Uh, as long as we don't do something stupid, we're not going to get a yellow. I had a couple guys on yellow card. So we'll get through this without <clears throat> suspension for the second round. That'll that'll help with our fit. We just never know in this tournament what the fitness situation of players is going to be. It's almost It feels almost random. Ooh, oh, almost finished that one. Savas is it in and yes edge handball all right so this should be yeah they don't even let him kick it ball game so uh yeah nice nice win right 20 shots to three although south africa had three shots on target uh that could have this could have went a different way we'll take it 65 percent possession that's pretty good um passing was great except for up front uh need to look at that a little bit i guess um, but 93% in the back and 91 in the midfield. 93% out of the back is very good for this team because our my backline players are not are not great. Um, and France and Brazil ended 2-2. That means we finished second. Uh, Brazil wins the group. Uh, very pleased with the result. Your performance. All right, so yes, a uh, two nil win over South Africa. France Brazil tied at two. Um, yeah, we finished second in the group. 
which is good. That's everything kind of shook out the way it should. We did. We beat France. We beat South Africa, and we lost to Brazil. So that's yeah. That sort of everything is as it should be. Um, let's see if they've announced our second round opponent yet. Yeah, I guess not. They don't have. Um, do not have the second round up yet. So we'll find out our opponent and uh, we'll watch the, um, our next, well, the second round game uh, against probably one of the group winners. Hopefully we get Saudi Arabia. That'd be great. Um, <laughs> although I'll take Scotland. Yeah, the group, all the group winners are good. South Korea, maybe. So we'll see. You, the under 20s is always kind of. You know, you, you never know what you're going to get at this level. So, all right, this is Uncle Sam FM, and I will see you for the second round match.